Okay, so we're going to take a look at the new components that make up the Alpha 2 experiment. Alpha 2 is a complete redesign of Alpha. It's a brand new experiment that adds new capabilities that we didn't have in the original Alpha experiment. Most importantly, we want to use lasers to study the structure of trapped antihydrogen. And this device gives us the capability for introducing laser light into the interaction volume. So we'll start here. This is the catching trap where we stop and catch the antiprotons that come to us from the antiproton decelerator. Every 100 seconds we get a shot of antiprotons, about 30 to 40 million. They go into this magnet. There's a charged particle trap inside there. They get stopped and cooled down and held in a very good vacuum. Next 100 seconds we get some more. They get added. We just keep there accumulating them and then later, when we need some, we'll extract some fraction of those from this reservoir of antiprotons. This, by the way, was built at the Cockcroft Institute at Darsbury Lab in the United Kingdom. These are some new collaborators in Alpha, Cockcroft and the University of Manchester in the United Kingdom took responsibility for this. And this has been operating since about June. This was the first part of Alpha 2 to be completed and commissioned and it's working very well. This next lovely piece of equipment is uh, a superconducting solenoid magnet built in Oxford Instruments in the United Kingdom and very importantly financed by the Carlsberg Foundation in Denmark. Carlsberg is of course the, the beer company but they have a, a, a foundation that supports basic research in Denmark and I was able to get financing for this very nice piece of equipment from them. This provides a constant one Tesla field for trapping the charged particles that are used to make antihydrogen. Now if you look, this magnet actually sits on a, a cart that can, has wheels and can slide over here. Take a look. So this is the heart of the new Alpha 2 apparatus. This is the cryostat or liquid helium vessel and inside here are the superconducting magnets that one uses to trap the antihydrogen atoms. We use very strong magnetic fields to hold on to the, the atom after it's formed. So inside here the charged particles are combined to make antihydrogen and then to hold on to it. We can't see it right now but at either end of this one we can shine laser beams into the volume so that they overlap with the trapped atom that's bouncing around inside. We hope to use those to actually study the structure, the internal structure of the antihydrogen atom. This is our goal after all, is to understand if hydrogen and antihydrogen look the same, which is what the current laws of physics require.